Welcome back to the PAC Sports Network at the half, and we're joined now by Bethany head coach Nick Hager. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. And in the first half of the season, you know, we're past the midway point at this stage. Give us your take on, on the team and, and how it has progressed throughout the course of this year. Uh, you know, like going through the first half of the season, um, we were battling some injuries, had some guys playing some new roles. Uh, so to get comfortable with that was uh, was a bit of a challenge. And uh, I think we're just coming out the other end of it right now. And uh, I think our play has really shown that. And guys are getting more comfortable. And uh, I think we're playing our best basketball right now. And just last week, a great win for Bethany mm-hmm. against Waynesburg, a team that entered on a four-game winning streak. Yep. How does a win like that maybe help propel the team moving forward here in the second half? I mean, it definitely propels us forward. Uh, you know, it shows a lot of, uh, a lot of things that, you know, when we execute, you know, what, what good things can come from it. Um, um, really gives you guys a lot of confidence going forward. And, you know, the, you want to be playing your best basketball this time of the year. So I think uh, our guys are feeling that, and uh, hopefully we continue. A young team. You have a couple of guys with experience, Aiden Albert, a senior, and also Trey Shiflett, who's seen a, a lot of time when he's been healthy, yep. um, and, and he's made a recent return. Uh, tell us about those guys and, and how they help lead your group. Uh, you know, Aiden and Trey, they've been a part of some really successful teams here and uh, been big parts of those teams. Um, so I think just having that experience and with their backgrounds and them being just overall competitors, uh, that really helps helps those young guys come along. Helps me as a coach uh, so I can lean on them a little bit, you know, with what, uh, you know, what they can do on the court and off the court. Um, yeah, but Aiden's come through, uh, you know, in a leadership role, really like, you know, being more vocal and, uh, you know, and shown on the court as well. And Trey, like I said, battling some injuries, um, really just being healthy for maybe, you know, a month and a half. Um, he's really, I, I think him being a part of the team now and playing more minutes and everything, I think that's a, he's a, one of the biggest contributors to our success right now. Um, and again, to show those young guys like how to do things, how to approach practice, how to approach, you know, off days even, and, uh, you know, the mentality to come into games. I think that's that's been a big part of it. But those two together, um, again, like it's a, it's the best time to be playing playing good basketball right now. As far as some of your youngsters, and there's certainly plenty of those, but plenty of talent mm-hmm. as well. Khalil Wilson, a talented sophomore, averaging 12 points per game in conference play. Um, what, in what ways does he give opponents trouble on the inside, and, and, and you know, what kind of future does he have? I mean, his versatility. I mean, he's, he's a strong kid, can guard pretty much the one through the five for us, which, which helps us in defensive, uh, on the defensive end. Offensively, uh, he's talented. He can score on the perimeter, score around the basket, uh, move his feet really well, get to the, those open areas, and uh, you know, really uh, give some teams some trouble. So um, and I, with him, I mean, I think the sky's the limit. I mean, I think he can really do some things going forward and um, really help us you know, kind of fill some holes with, uh, you know, on both ends of the court. Junior Dalton Hamrick, a transfer out of Davis and Elkins Division II school, and uh, has made some big shots for your team, a game-winning three-pointer that beat Emory and Henry mm-hmm. earlier on. Yep. Uh, what kind of addition has he been? Uh, you know, he stretches the floor for us. And, uh, you know, not only on the offensive end, uh, but on the defensive end, he can do some things as well. Um, he's getting more aggressive on the offensive glass uh, for us to, you know, put some pressure on some teams. And, of course, you know, it gives another option for our guards when they drive to have someone to kick out to. Um, and also he can finish pretty well around the basket. Um, and just uh, him along with some other guys, uh, just, you know, the more consistent we can get with seeing the ball go in, uh, you know, the better we'll feel. Sophomore DJ White and, and his family have overcome a lot with his mother winning a fight with breast cancer. How much of an inspiration is White and his family for the team? You know, uh, DJ is a, uh, he's a dynamic player, uh, not only on the court but off the court. Uh, great kid to be around. Uh, and when he's up, everyone's up. Um, so I think his leadership, uh, I think he's only scratched the surface of it, you know, in his young career. So, um, but, you know, what he's been through uh, with, with, his, with his mom and family and everything, uh, I only think that's going to help out in the long run and kind of put things into perspective, um, especially with things that have happened recently, um, just to kind of have him come along and just, you know, continue to improve not only, you know, as a basketball player, but grow as a person too. And we noted this is a young team. Who are some of your other youngsters that you're hoping to see big things from coming up? I mean, everyone's young. (laughs) So, uh, no, but, um, you know, going down the lineup, uh, you know, Deshaun Brown, another uh, another guard, um, just, uh, you know, terror on the defensive end, really, you know, aggressive and also on the offensive end too, can do a lot of things, can get to the basket, can stretch the floor. 
Yeah, and then a couple other freshmen, you know, Tyler Block, um, another good guard from Columbus area. He's come along. He's coming into his own. I think, you know, he's going to continue to improve and get better. Uh, uh, Brendan Riggs, uh, unfortunately, you know, he's, he's had some back issues uh, when he was just starting to kind of figure some things out. He can really stretch the floor for us, uh, but I, I'm not sure if we're going to see him again this year. Um, but uh, once he gets healthy and everything, it's going to be it's going to be fun to to get him out there. Uh, and he's a hard worker too. I mean, all, that that entire freshman group, the newcomers, you know, they've really put a lot of time in and really figured some things out over the past month, you know, two months, uh, three months. So, um, looking forward to what they can do, you know, going forward. And then, you know, with uh, some of those. Uh, other guys, you know, uh, some of those sophomores, you know, Trent Uphold, he's been injured. Uh, so, again, I, I know every team goes through it that fights that injury bug and the sickness bug. But, um, you know, Trent, when he gets healthy, he'll be ready to go. And then uh, Carter Adams, I mean, he comes in every day ready to go and really helps the team. And it may not show up in the stat line, um, but, you know, he, you know, it's a you know, complete team effort to get us ready to, for those game days. And um, we tell those guys they got to be ready, you know, for the number to be called. And I really think, you know, I can trust, you know, one through, you know, what do we have healthy now? Uh, you know, I think 11 guys healthy. Uh, so one through 11, I can really trust all those guys to, you know, be called on on a moment's notice. That's Coach Nick Hager of the Bethany Bison. Coach, as always, thanks for your time and good luck. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll have more coming up in a moment here on the PAC Sports Network.